Michael wants to know, first of all, I'd like to thank you for the amazing show. I've been listening for over four years. I've learned a lot. Do you have any updates on CloudBerry? This was a, a, a new cloud service that you mentioned a couple of episodes ago. Should I keep using Jungle Disk, or is it time to move to CloudBerry? So my feeling is that if, jung if you're a Jungle Disk user and it works for you, then why not keep using it? Um, CloudBerry has additional advantages. My vetting of the security came out as full TNO, so it passes all of the trust no one tests. They have they are encrypting things absolutely correctly. I mean, maybe a little overkill, but that's as we know in security, that's a good thing. Um, I was a Jungle Disk user so long ago that I got like the lifetime for free deal. And I remember that um, they then terminated that. And so uh, CloudBerry is a pay only once. And it does also support this super inexpensive Amazon, you know, archival, you know, bury it in ice uh, technology, Glacier. Um, so yeah, I could see a switch making sense. And like leaving Jungle Disk behind, if Jungle Disk is them are themselves charging you periodically for the privilege, CloudBerry charges you one time, which is I think the right model for this. And then using Glacier, you can really, really save on on your data storage. And CloudBerry is also multi-cloud. Uh, Glacier is only one of a huge number of cloud services that it supports. So um, I, I haven't yet switched myself over but i'm i'm gonna do that just for what it's worth i i think it's the right solution so yes michael um it probably does make sense cloudberry i love the name 